Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been uh, a couple months since I've created a content for you to, to watch, but uh, a lot has happened. I have moved out of my original residence and I have started my first job as a registered nurse in an inpatient hospital. I am excited to begin my career in mental health and I remain very committed to promoting uh, a psychosocial model, right? A model that honors the nature of human beings and the dignity of human life. I have been reading uh, since I've been here every morning and I've been reflecting on the nature of habit and repetition. And how that is beautifully reflected in what we need in mental health care, but more generally what we need in human life. We might have a very meaningful relationship, for example. And what we would find with that is intimacy, an ability to feel heard, to feel held in the awareness of another person. But hypothetically, what if that intimacy then fell away? that person moved away, that person died suddenly and tragically, how would we cope with that? Well, it would be difficult. So what I'm trying to highlight here is that there's a component to understanding our emotions that's related to repeated and consistent patterns of emotional regulation, emotional safety, and it really is those consistent relationships that build the foundation for emotional self-regulation. And if we get that right, we can go out and we can help other people to be emotionally regulated. We can be uh, people in the community to offer emotional support. And the reason why this is effective is because our human brain, in some sense, our, our human nature, the way that God has made us is fundamentally on a relational foundation and out of the relational foundation comes those higher capacities for uh, morality, for ethics, and for logic, for even doing higher level mathematics. And I think what we need to understand more generally about ourselves is that we have to learn to respect the emotional fabric, the, the genuine emotional needs that, w that we have, that, that we need to learn to regulate, to discipline, to, to relate effectively. And I think that this is, this is something that we tend to overlook because in the modern world we have this overwhelmingly reductionistic and materialistic philosophy, this post-enlightenment philosophy about the nature of man, where we create a dualism, where we separate man from his body, his visceral feelings, his emotional states, and in some sense from his suffering. And we're left with pain, we're left with loss, and we don't quite understand how to manage loss and pain without understanding who we are, the questions of who we are, where we come from, and what we are made for, and I think we are fundamentally made for submission and service and loving relationships, and we do it in different ways, and it's quite miraculous when it's working, when it's functional, when it's useful. So with that being said, I am doing well. I just wanted to make a video and reflect on that topic of the importance for repeated patterns of safety. Repetition, repetition, repetition. I made a video, goodness, a couple months ago now where I discussed that importance for repeated patterns. And as someone who's passionate about psychosocial clinical work in mental health, I believe that through repeated patterns of of loving attention, of, of, of calm and open, uh, really non-
non-judgmental uh, relationships, we can actually start to build resiliency, right? We, we don't just become resilient. We don't just become capable of managing stress without those connections. And I would say some of us are given those great gifts and we are called to assist one another on that journey. So yeah, tell me what you think. I'd love to hear your opinion and I'll see you soon. Bye.